Guys, remember back a few months ago when everyone on YouTube and Reuters and all the media were telling us that Tesla has canceled the unbox process? Guys, I did make a video at the time refuting those claims, saying that there was zero evidence that Tesla had actually made that plan. This was another kind of um, leak, so-called Tesla leak, that didn't really have any evidence to support the facts. Well, Here's the true story about what's happening with Tesla's unboxed process. It's certainly not what you have been told. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. It's great to see you. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. Tesla had this idea, right? That they'd use this new process. It would be very different. Right now, a production car, you go to, you go to a car factory. I've been to a few of them now. You see, with even with modern EVs, they're built in the same way. It's a production line. It's like what Henry Ford made with the Ford Model T. Production line goes basically down, down a line. And even if it doesn't go down a line, it goes in on the one track, basically. So it starts on one track and just follows a snake around the factory. Generally, that's how things work now. But essentially, the production line is it's unchanged from back in the early 1920s when Henry Ford first established the modern production line. Now, of course, production lines are very different now. Uh, very large percentages of production, modern production lines are automated. There's still a lot of human work on all of them though. That's being started, started to change a little bit with new robots being introduced in China to work on production lines. Not really changed much yet, but it will over the next couple of years in a big way. But Tesla want to go a lot further than that. They want to completely reinvent the production process. Now, Reuters said that Tesla's unbox method had been cancelled, wasn't going to be happening anymore. We have evidence. It's true. You should all believe us because we're Reuters. Turns out Tesla just refuted that story and said, no, we will be using the unboxed method. Now, the unboxed method means that um, essentially everything is built on the one spot not in a production line. So it's an entirely new manufacturing way of manufacturing a car. There's two big benefits to this. One, increase the speed of production. They Tesla believe they can double the speed of production. That would make their cars much cheaper to manufacture, right? The other advantage to this process, it takes up less floor space. Floor space is costly. Musk, Elon Musk has talked about this many times. It's expensive. How much does it cost you per amount of floor space to produce a car. That's what Musk talks about being a key component of reducing the cost of manufacturing. Well, Tesla is saying that, um, yeah, the robo taxi will be built using Tesla's manufacturing, their advanced manufacturing process. Now, will the Tesla robo taxi be the same as the Tesla Model 2, but just two different options? One that's like a car you can drive on the street, maybe remove the steering as well. And then the robo taxi is just purely a robo taxi. I think that will be the case, guys. I think the Model 2 is a robo taxi, but like I said, it'll just be two different variants of the same car. When will the robot taxi be revealed? And potentially the Model 2 at the same time? The 10th of October. It's changed from the 8th of August. Musk has obviously given the engineers a, a deadline or the, whoever a deadline, staff a deadline to get the car on the 8th of August. They didn't meet the deadline, obviously. But I think Musk is saying it's his fault. He wanted to change something. So they're changing something. Maybe the look of it, I'm not sure. So anyway, they're changing something. And now instead of the 8th of August, it's going to happen on the 10th of October. So it's going to happen apparently 12 days before my birthday in October. I don't tell anyone because I'm getting too old. I don't want to celebrate those birthdays anymore when you're getting to my age when you're 42 years old. Anyway, Tesla's update later, they said they plan for new vehicles, including more affordable models that are still on track for production in the first half of 2025. Of course, the Tesla Model Y won't be more affordable, but it will be new and updated and much better than what it is today. That's going to be coming out around the end of this year. Tesla is saying these vehicles will utilize aspects of their next generation and current platforms and could be produced on the same manufacturing lines as the company's current vehicle lineup. As for the robo taxi, Tesla has not said where that will be produced, how it will be produced. They said, our purpose-built RoboTaxi product will continue to pursue a revolutionary unboxed manufacturing strategy. And Musk said in the second quarter earnings call that the delay in the RoboTaxi's unveiling was due to some important changes he requested for the vehicle. Musk noted, however, that Tesla is going to show up a couple of other things on the event on the 10th of October. What are those couple of other things? Tesla van. I think Tesla's been working on a van. I really think that's what one of the things they're going, to, they're going to reveal. 
Plus, I think they're going to have the Robo Taxi and then the Model 2 version of the Robo Taxi, the, the one you can actually buy yourself. That'll be their three products. Potentially, also, they're going to reveal the production version of the Tesla Roadster, which apparently will go on sale in 2025. But Tesla's been saying that for many years, so who knows? We're increasing capacity at our existing factories significantly. And I should say that the Cyber Taxi or Robo Taxi will be locally produced here at our headquarters at Giga Texas. So Musk has said... It's going to be produced at Tesla's factory in Texas. But this might change, guys. I mean, when Mexico's Gigafactory, when that's built, that might change. That's in a few years' time, though. So who knows? Guys, either way, it's definitely the case that um, sometimes the media just tells us things that aren't true. This is one of those instances. And I believe Musk refuted these claims. I believe he tweeted out, or I'm just going to call it tweeted because I don't know. He said X'd, X'd out a comment saying this was false. But of course, the media just ignored what he said and ran with the Reuters story anyway.